All right, this is from a, just a standpoint, just to see how fast, you know, it takes off. Zero to 60. <laughs> Braking is not a uh, stop on a dime. Um, so for braking, you wanna lightly, slowly push on it. And then I recommend once you get down slow enough, just simply use your left or right foot and just slow down a little bit, maybe hop off a little bit. But so far, I'm liking it. I also do recommend it um, on gear one if you're going on anything bumpy or rocky. So if you're going over like grass and stuff, you don't need to go super fast um, because if you go super fast and you hit a pot, not a pot, pothole, but a hole in the ground, uh, you're gonna have some trouble. As you guys can see, I'm freely using this. Stability is actually pretty good with one hand on this, of course. Now, if you're gonna be using this and you're not a you know you're not someone who does this often wear a helmet wear knee pads and all that stuff for me this is my fourth or fifth scooter and uh, i'm pretty well familiar with them so doing stuff like this is uh you know just an every not everyday thing but pretty much a uh, normal thing but yes yeah, so far i'm liking it um yeah, we'll have to keep testing. Now when you have speed off-road on grass like this where it's semi-smooth, a little bit rough, but semi-smooth, uh, it doesn't seem to have too many issues. So we can show you. So if we got speed, so the grass here is not as bumpy as the other area. So it's still moving as you guys can see. And it almost seems to be the trick is if you don't let off the throttle so yeah it's it's just a learning curve so yard grass that is i would say medium to heavy bumpy stay away from grass that is lightly maybe medium at sometimes bumpy probably okay but I do recommend probably just staying off the grass altogether. That way you can prolong the battery and also the life of the scooter. So I would stick to, well, let's show you. Let's go in the woods. Okay. 
something like this is going to be okay where you see it's it's um a path kind of into the woods there's some sticks you know stones but nothing too crazy that's going to be okay i think we're going to drop it down to number one so as you can see There, grind it a little bit, going over that bump. Now, I think that's gonna be okay. Uh, it it kind of, I say grinded, because that's all that I can kind of, I don't know, that's all that it feels like it's doing when it does that, which, you know, we're on gear number one. Um, so I think the absorbing part of that uh, I have not noticed that on any of my other scooters, um, but yeah, so that's just one thing I haven't noticed on my other scooters is the grinding part, uh, even off-road, no matter where I go. But as you can see, going through dirt and kind of this kind of stuff, obviously this hill, you can't probably tell the depth, but it's way too uh, steep to go up with the scooter. But we definitely are going to go down it. We're gonna obviously have the scooter. We're not pushing the throttle because we're gonna get some speed coming down here. I mean, I don't know if you guys could tell the depths. I mean, it's, well, you'll see. You'll kind of get an idea of the speed. Um, but, yeah. So, again, we're not using the throttle. All right, now we are. So like going like this is okay. So stuff like this is okay. And there you can see it kind of, I don't know what it does. It kind of grinds a little bit, which I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. Um, the bump, so. So it, it, it I mean, it, it goes off road. It just seems like it gets jarred jarred a little too much that it wants to grind um which again i've not had that problem with any other scooter now keep in mind we are on just the first gear i really like this scooter a lot so the scooter is a lot of fun So stay tuned for my final thoughts at the end. So it does go 19. It does go 19 miles an hour. I can confirm that. Um, maybe faster, but we saw 19. It's just cruise.
I obviously got off there to go up the hill. 